All right, everybody. I think it's about that time. Welcome back to the Compulsive Survival Builder. I'm going to show you how to build a sub-basement in the Underground Railroad mod. So, first thing you got to have is scrap that settlement, which will... This is how I've been decorating the place. It's kind of nice. You can, you can make it into a pretty decent little player, like post-apocalyptic player home. Anyway, you scrap the bricks, and it comes with this weird little stairwell down here. Uh, I'm going to turn on the Pip-Boy light so that we have some light. Um, and I don't know if the mod author just meant to put something down here and never did, or if they meant for it to be kind of a free build area, but uh, excuse the trailers, that's what it looks like, man. I'm seeing the same thing you are. Uh, don't be scared of this. If you walk all the way through, bang, just pops you back up here. So don't be afraid of falling. Everything's fine. In any case, um, this area is all just open game space. And you can see up into the, the Underground Railroad up in there. There's a dude over there. Um, but as far as I know, this is just infinite open game space with no borders. Interesting, huh? So you probably don't want to build too much down there. But you can build down there. So, the way you do that, I, I like to use the concrete building. Uh, you get a, a set of concrete stairs going. And you see how they're going down through the floor like that? That's how you want them. And you just get it kind of close so that you can work pretty well with it. Um, you, I kind of like, I like to build them... Yeah, right about there. Sure, facing kind of that way. Now, when you come down here, what that's going to do for you is, look at that. You got stairs right there. So, then you take a floor tile. Slap it on there. Then you take the stairs. Um, this can be tricky. Oh, oh, did you see the blue? Yeah, oh, come on, there, bang, all right. So, we got that. Then you take your floor tile, you do kind of the same thing. Actually, I probably want to grab it from further away so I can reach the bottom of the stairs there. And you snap your floor tile to the bottom of the stairs. All right, now that should be low enough. You can store the stairs for now. Now you got a floor tile down here. Just one floating there. But, luckily for you, this game does snap building. Oh, can't reach it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to build me a floor tile. And then I'm going to grab it from farther away. And then bring it down here. All right. S snap to. All right. And then I can go, you, you, get over here. You should come closer to the door here. Boom. And then you, you. All right. Bang. Right there. And that's... Okay, so you got your first set right here. Now, what I like to do from here is uh, well, first, so th so that you can avoid like the snap to BS with all of this. I like to build like a little three by three grid down here. Okay, then you just want to start. I mean, you can actually do it from in here. And you can get it fairly squared up. But I like to bring it up like this. You get it? I get it a little underneath this. Because th that's going to be a telltale sign for you. And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. Um, and then you can literally just grab these and... Just kind of clean it up. All right. Grab this one. Put it over here. That one. Over there. This gets easier as they as they get a little closer together, and in, in so you, to where you're building kind of in the same spot every time. They'll do that. 
where you grab it and it snaps into place. Okay, there we go. So, uh, you don't really have to worry about this corner here, so I'm going to grab that one. And then we come up, we kind of do the same thing. And I want it a little bit underneath the stairs here because it's only going to let me build so high right here. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to grab... Well, I want to grab the one that's underneath there. But that's okay. Uh, there's a way around that. Grab this, bring it up. Then you can store it, that one, and bring that one up. Woohoo! Up, up, up. See how I'm kind of creeping up here? Just to, real systematically. I don't know if that one's going to do it. Yep. Okay. And up. All right. And then you can say, Build me another floor dial. And you just kind of step up a little bit of time until it won't let you place, but until you get close enough to the stairs here. See, we're still not quite there. Now, you can check every once in a while, and it's probably a good idea because if you build, if you put like a doorway on here and it's too high, then the roof, the concrete roof, unless you want to just look up the butt of your thing the entire time you're down here, which I don't like to do. So I like to put the roofs on the concrete stuff, but it'll run into this debris and stuff that's down here. Now you can like get rid of that crap while you're here if you want to. Um, but some, some of the stuff can't be scrapped and you'll, you're like, it'll run into some of the gates the, the ceilings will, if you get too high. Now, I'm just making sure I got tile around here. So from here, let's get let's give a wall a try. Okay, so it'll build. Let's see. Oh, won't quite let us through. So it's still a little low, but that's all right. We'll go again. Bang! No, nope. come up here. Okay. See, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of come up in increments. And what I'm going to base everything off of, you don't have to be real careful with the placement of these floor tiles. What I'm going to base everything off of is, is this wall I'm going to build. So I'm actually going to grab this one and come over here. Uh, yeah, still get under it. So that's good. So you just want to make sure that it'll sit underneath it. All right, so is that is that close enough? Let's see. You want the wall to be buildable. You can get it pretty close to this stairway entrance. You can get it to where you can't actually see any of the cracks or anything. Okay, that's a pretty good spot. Can we get up? Yes. Does it block the top? No, it really doesn't. Okay, maybe a couple more layers. Um, couple more layers. Dang. I hope you can, I hope everybody's understanding what I'm doing here. I'm just, one at a time, I'm building a tile on top of this floor that I have. And then I'm just bringing the flooring up to that level. So I'm kind of creeping up on these stairs here. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to see this white traily shit when I'm down here. Right? And I imagine you don't either. It's already kind of distracting. It's a little better already just with having some floor tile down here. Like, I'm sure everybody's noticed that. It's a little better. Um, but in any case, we're already building down here. Pretty cool, huh? And if, if, you know, if that was all you needed to know and you just want to move on from here and try and work it out for yourself, that's fine. But I'm going to show you, let's see where we're at. I think that was just one level. Um. 
yeah, I think if we do one more, we'll be right there. So let's do it. Uh, bring this. Uh, start with this one, and then we can put this one down. Move our way around. Nope. That's what I want. Alright, so one more, I think. We should be there. Yeah, we can't even... We can't even build any closer. Or any higher, anyway. So, I'm going to actually come down here and I'm going to get this as close as I can because I don't want the wall snapping too on the tile. Yeah. Um, there. I think that's... That is probably as close as I can get. That's... Yeah actually glitched into the stair there a little bit so that's good all right so this should be our final placement here and so now is where we we build the wall we do a quick verification that it seems like it's gonna basically work out but then we do all our fine-tuning because we're gonna base the build off of this doorway come in come in um, okay whatever. so yeah, I think that's high enough. It is not close enough, and it's kind of crooked. But we can make that adjustment. Okay. Let's do a snap to floor situation. Uh, yes, we'll store that. So in order to do a snap to doorway, we need to bring these tiles up. And this one, just like we have been doing. There we go. Oh, that one is weird that it snaps through right there. Whatever. Behind the stairs. I guess we don't need that one anymore. All right, we got our spare that we will work with. There and there. It takes a little bit of concentration and patience for this. Hope you got it. But you can get it pretty perfect, and that's what I'm going for here. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to all this kind of stuff. So, man, my snap to on that's not just not wanting to go. Jeez. Right over here and snap it through there. Jeez. That one was being a pain, huh? Bang and bang. Let's do a regular wall. And we'll do it next to the stairs. And we will try to line that up. with the floor tile here. And then attach the door to it. That work out? Uh huh? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! So how close did that get us? Um, let me turn off this pit boy light. Uh, we'll be able to see a lot better. Uh, nothing there. And you know what? I don't see any white coming through this side either. I think we got it. All right, so turn the pit boy light back on. Sweet. Wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to start the workshop thing. All right, now we got it. 
got it we got the door on so that's really the first step we got a squared off doorway that's right up against here and it's not it's not showing any of the artifact through now and we got our wall attached to it which is good so then uh, let's put some walls on and I'll just start with like a, a little 3x3 three three situation jeez if I can get this stuff to work right it just works um, store that I can store that now. Uh, clean up some of the tile I got going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall. Hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Wall. I can get it, get it, get it, get down there. There, boom, like that. Then, uh, if you take your stairs, check this out. Sure, why not? No, they can go right there. Come down here. And go. Floor. See, now that, bang, that's our wall and our floor. We got it going on now. And that is connected to, I believe, the bottom of the wall there. Here, let's check it out. Let's put the stairs down again. Just make sure it's attached correctly here. I want to get a look at it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks right. Looks like the looks like the floor is connected to the bottom of the wall there, which is perfect. So, store of stairs. Bring the floor tile down here. This would be our permanent sub sub basement flooring. Put a wall next to that one right here. Now, hopefully, we didn't get so close. Uh, up and down wise with this door that we're going to run into artifacts upstairs uh, that prevent us from building a roof but you know uh, pick your battles guys you got a sub basement going on here or at least the makings of one like I said I'm just going to real quick set this up uh, what do I got so Floors. I got four left. Oh, sweet. That's what I need. One, two, three, four. Now, with, like I said, with any luck, you didn't get so high that you're going to run into the stuff upstairs. Dang. Dang. Bang. 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 This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. And then you can expand. See, so you can always store these walls and move your flooring out. You can even put in another set of stairs. Um, or like I did with the... the the wall underneath the door there and just build another wall going downward and you can make it even lower come on come on come on I'm just trying to slap this together real quick so I can show you that you can actually you, you can make it feel normal which, you know, I know that ultimately that's what everybody's going to want out of a, a build like this or, or a place like this. Is they're going to want, they're not going to want to come down here and see tracers and shit. So, oh, come on. Oh, good. I got some snap tubes right here. Bang. 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 
Bang. All right, let's do some roofs real quick. Use that a snap too, pretty good. Oh, of course that won't. Let's see, look at that, I've already got a conflict. See, you might be able to get it to snap on with a different roof tile though. Sometimes you can like, get it coming this way, yeah. Yeah, see, like that. If I don't know why it does it like that, but if your back is to whatever it's running into, sometimes that helps and it just allows it to be placed. I don't know why that's the case sometimes. Yeah, we might be running into the... Oh, no. Maybe it just wants to be placed this way. Yeah, the roof's always a little tricky around on this thing. I don't know why. I do know that I have gotten the roof to place just fine, at least in this first 9x9 room. Yep, bang. Oh, snap. I almost had it. There's my phone ringing, that's awesome. Oh, close. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Man, it's been a real bitch today. You can do this. Okay, like, maybe you'll just have better luck than me with the roof tile placement. Um, I don't know why it's being such a pain right now, but... Um, let me try something here. I'm going to snap floor tile right there. I'm going to put some come on. Stairs on there. Come up here. Let me do oh. Let's do another floor tile. Maybe if I'm closer. I don't know why, but sometimes the angle with which you try to do this makes all the difference. Yeah, see? Apparently I needed to be closer. So, all right, I just need, let's take this. Put it here. No. And roof. Yeah, see? I don't know why it's like that. But it is there. Okay. And then we go stairs. Right there. Check it out, guys. Bango. So basement! We got it done. And then you can actually, um, what I like to do is I like to take, since I don't put much that needs power up here, I put just these little eight power fuse boxes, just two of them, um, on either, or one on either side that is. And then I take my 100 one that comes with the Underground Railroad and I bring it down here to power like, sometimes I'll do like a manufacturing facility down here. Sometimes they'll do like a bunch of power armor um, display cases and just store all my power armor down here. But uh, yeah, so, and then once you set that down, get that down here, you can put up wall lighting in the hallway here. 
so you don't have to use a pit boy light and then you can run conduit or wire or whatever you want to in here but look at that see looks like it was made for the game bang come downstairs now there's doorway all right well i know that was a little uh that was, that was man that was a little tough um and it is a little tough but once you get it done man boom look at this sub basement in the underground road get out of the way dog jeez right common complaint and then you can hang lights in here you can do whatever you want you can expand it um just uh remember the tips about the ceiling tile the roof tile a lot of times you'll need to like build uh like a little like <laughs> scaffolding as it were and to place your roof tile but that's that look at that nine by nine by two or three by three by two little room here you can go lower you can go out uh, you might be able to go out farther than what's upstairs and build even up and around you might be able to completely encase the underground railroad I don't know um, in any but that's it uh, here's your sub basement for the underground railroad if you like the video click like uh, if you want to see more videos like this I, or the videos I also do a lot of walkthroughs on how to mod your PS4 game, hit subscribe, and I do playthroughs, and if you hit the bell icon, then you'll actually get notified when I upload a new video. All right, see you next time.